Hello everyone and welcome to Nick and Mel's September 2024 update. So about the gear. I'll get back to you on that. Hello everyone and welcome to this Nick and Mel update for September 2024 my where does the time go uh, so let's run through this rather quickly shall we uh, obviously there hasn't been that much of an upload you've seen an upload recently I did a uh, follow up to Nick's uh, Morrison's promo video where we did a, a kind of a award video for him which is quite uh, nice because you know what's going on with Nick at the moment at work he's, he's, he's being celebrated for his achievements and work and to be part of that experience and to help him out is great so that's one of the things that we've released recently Diving more onto my freelance work. I'm obviously still working with diving onto the beyond with Tasha. She's recently sent me a video for an introduction to the production. Uh, so we're still going to get that promo coming at some point. We've still got the rest of uh, the 27th anniversary content to come out. So obviously the diving into the beyond footage, the object legacy footage, and uh, a one minute wonder slash secret project thing that I, I won't say more about but it will take uh, inspiration from all our sketch and comedy shows from the past and kind of meld them all together because in my mind they were all set in the same universe anyway I always thought of it as like the limited Gene Paul universe because there, we had so many actors playing this different roles so it just kind of felt uh, right for me to you know mix them all together and in fact if, if we ever did finish the comedy movie you'd see characters from crap shows pop up in the comedy movie just to kind of get that connection oh and you'd also see characters from obviously Freddy and the Fudpuckers show up as well so that was something that was going to happen uh, as for other things that got released I released my uh, inside of Stargate the Guardians and what that sh show slash fan film would have been about again if you want us to do something with that uh, uh, I would think about possibly doing it I'd love to do an audio show about Stargate because it is top for me top tier one of my favorite shows ever um, and I'd love to play in that world I honestly would uh, aside from that it's just kind of cracking on really um, we've been uh, while I've been ill and I've not really been editing much uh, I've been more in an actor role working with Steve while we've been filming Memory Remains and I, I'll say it before and I've said it again I'm continually impressed with Steve's process like he's quick to figure out a problem get around it and sort it out and move on and uh, he's got a very different it, it's good because me and Steve have very different ways of making films which is a very good thing to have on a team because you don't want directors that do exactly the same thing exactly the same style I'm very much uh, a cowboy shooting in any direction I like to capture as many angles as possible uh, in case I miss something whereas Steve is very by the book like he's got a storyboard he wants to stick to it he'll take the odd suggestion here or there but that is his mindset and he knows straight away in his head he knows if he misses something aside from like you know the odd slip up like where you need like what would be picked up by a second unit of someone say putting something on a table or something and it's just someone's hand that's the sort of stuff that's easily missed and that's where you'd get a second unit director in where I that's me kind of for Steve's film but we've been focusing on that a lot at the moment that's kind of become top priority where I've not not been feeling great but I can still kind of perform I don't have to physically think about it it's great to kind of just you know have Steve take the reins work on his film and it's been really really fun and obviously I, I mentioned in my Facebook sort of blog post uh, Anna Maria has joined the cast of Memory Remains now it's so good to have 
have have her on the team. I've I've known her for years, and obviously Steve's known her even longer. I believe Steve and Dave went to school with Anna, so it's it's kind of a bit of a reunion for them. So it's 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 all great. Uh, so it's going to be fun. Um, I've already had people asking me, "Oh, when's it coming out?" Oh, we haven't even bloody finished it. We haven't even cast one of the main roles yet. Well, we sort of semi-cast it, but. I won't confirm anything until they've shot stuff. It's the same for Final Report. Until they've actually filmed their cameo, they're not getting announced. So, anyway, I, this is going to be a very short and sweet one, gu sweet one guys, because uh, we have got stuff, work we're working on stuff, obviously. You may have noticed I'm currently wearing this, like army thing uh, tactical vest and that is for a particular reason this is for a particular scene in final report where we introduce uh, a new team to the saga not echo team but another team and i'm really looking forward to getting this scene done because uh introduces us to a load of new interesting characters and a load of a new interesting actors that's all i'll say on that matter so thank you very much for sticking with us and continuing to uh, even if it's shit posting, just talking to us is lovely. It's lovely to know you're there. Because we need you. We need you. We really do. Please watch us. I'm begging you. <laughs> anyway, that's all for now. Look forward to clips of Object Legacy, diving to the beyond with Tasha, a bit more final report, and obviously Memory Remains, our oh, brand new original story that isn't even by me, it's by Stephen Dave, so I hope you look forward to it all. Cheerio, au revoir, out of Eta Zane and all that jazz, goodbye, and good night. I think I've lost the plot a bit. No, I'm fine. I think I've lost the plot a bit. I don't know, it seemed alright to me, Nick. <sighs> I thought a lot of it was really good. I like the crying bit at the end, please watch. I'm not gay, I swear. <laughs> <laughs>